Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Fasting and its impact on purifying one's soul. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, But there is forgiveness and a, gr and a great reward for those who fear the Lord, though they cannot see him. Whether you keep your words secret or state them openly, he knows the contents of every heart. How could he who created not know his own creation? When he is the most subtle, the all aware, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. Fasting is a practice that purifies one's soul, softens his heart, and corrects behaviors. The Almighty Allah said, You who believe fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you, so that you may be mindful of Allah. Fasting teaches us sincerity for the sake of Allah, glory be to Him, and observing Him in secret and in public, out of being mindful of Him. The Almighty Allah said in a Qudsi hadith, Every act of the son of Adam is for him, except fasting which is exclusively for me, and I will reward him for it. The person observing fasting has, ab has abstained from food and drink and sexual pleasures for my sake. Thus, fasting is a secret that only Allah realizes it. The true fasting person knows with certainty that Allah, the Almighty, is aware of him at all times and any place. He, the Almighty, hears his words, sees his actions, and knows his conditions. As the Almighty Allah said, In whatever matter you, Prophet, may be engaged, and whatever part of the Qur'an you are reciting, whatever work you people are doing, we witness you when you are engaged in it. Not even the weight of a speck of dust in the earth or sky escapes your Lord, nor anything lesser or greater. It is all written in a clear record. Allah also said, Do you not see, Prophet, that Allah knows everything in the heavens and earth? There is no secret conversation between three people when he is not the fourth, nor between five where he is not the sixth, nor between less or more than that without him being with them. Wherever they may be on the day of resurrection, he will show them what they have done. Allah truly has full knowledge of everything. Allah also said, Allah is always watching over you and said, Whatever you may say aloud, he knows what you keep secret and what is even more hidden. Therefore, a person has to be sincere in his worship, because Allah said, Anyone who hopes for the meeting, his Lord should do good deeds and give no one a share in the worship due to his Lord. The true fasting person is the one who observes his Lord in his fasting, prayer, and other acts of worship. He is completely mindful of Allah and is keen to protect his actions, remembering the words of his Lord. Over you stand, watches, over you stand, watchers, noble recorder, who know what you do. And Allah is saying, we have bound each human being's destiny to his neck. On the day of resurrection, we shall bring out a record for each of them, which they will find spread wide open. Read your record. Today your own soul is enough to calculate your account. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah loves when someone performs an act to perfect it. Once a man asked Wuhayb ibn al-Ward, saying, Give me an advice. He replied, Be mindful of Allah and do not make him the least observer of your deeds. It is the observance of Allah, the Almighty, that deters a person from cheating in all its forms and types, 
as it prevents him from reducing major monopolizing trading on crises and all other bad manners the prophet peace be upon him said whoever cheats us is not one of us the almighty allah said give full major when you major and weigh with accurate scales that is better and fairer in the end in another surah allah said woe to those who give short major who demand of other people full major for themselves but give less than they should when it is they who weigh or major for others the prophet peace be upon him said he who keeps goods till the price rises is accursed also fasting is a restraint for the self and a deterrent against sins until the soul reaches its happiness in that way one restrains his hearing sight tongue and all the limbs from everything that allah the almighty has forbidden all praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. Fasting is a practice that teaches a person who observe Allah to observe Allah who is watchful over everything. And there is nothing that escapes him, whether it is public or even secret. The Almighty Allah teaches us this meaning saying does he not realize that allah sees all allah also said he knows what enters the earth and what comes out of it what descends from the sky and what descends to it he is with you wherever you are he sees all that you do it is such education that helps man to bear the hardships confront the enemies and sacrifice his life for the sake of Allah the Almighty a person cannot face an enemy when the enemy inside his body controls and overpowers him Ramadan has been the month of victory it was the month that witnessed the battle of Badr the war of Mecca and the victories of the 10th of Ramadan by our brave armed forces we ask Allah glory be to him to protect Egypt its people army and police from all harms and dangers and to help us serve our religion and our country and to guide us to the right path may Allah make us in this blessed month among those whom he frees from the hellfire